Okay, let's connect to a database and write our first migration. There are a few reasons that why we should use migrations. Uh, there's a very good explanation on the to definitive guide on why we should use migrations. So it's always important to use and write migrations for your database. So let's begin by connecting to a database. Um, I have already created a basic database in MySQL and I'm going to connect to that. So I am in, um, this is our project, I am in config and db.php and I'm going to change my database name to the name, database that I just created. Username that I have is root and I don't have in password. So let's save this and let's check out how we can run our migrations. So E provides this e PHP E. If you enter this, you will see a lot of, of, of all the commands that you can do using E. So there is this migration, migrate command. So there are a few here. So you can do PHP E migrate create. This will create a new migration for you. And we can simply run our migration by saying E PHP E migrate. Okay, so let's uh, do that. Let's write php migrate. This will ask us, uh, this will create a migration ta table in our database. Let's go there and check it out. Okay, it says uh, we have version and apply time. So that's what you will get out of the box. So we have that. Let's create our own migration. So you to create a migration, you do php migrate and then slash create and the name of the table that you want to create uh, i'm going to say create po project let's say project table so this is going to create uh my new migrations so all your migrations will be stored on the migrations folder this will get created once you create your first migration and here you will see create project table okay let me close out my terminal and let's insert some columns we'll have a title for our project and that's going to be a string i guess 100 characters and then i'm going to have a description as well and it's going to be this i think text okay so we can have a created that and i'll be tired but i'm not going to get bothered i'm going to save this okay so now check out this class we it's extends from migration and it has this safe up and safe down functions so when you are writing php ye migrate it's going to run this function if you're going to roll back then of course it's going to run this function which is going to drop the project table so it's normally normal to have you create the project on up or you add the call add a column on save up function and you delete the column or delete drop the table when you are rolling back okay so let's run our migration so to run it php migrate is the command now it's going to ask whether to create this table we'll say yes and we are good let's check it out okay we have the project table we have the title and a description if you want to go back and rewrite all the migrations again, you can do php ye migrate and fresh. This will drop all the tables and rerun your migrations. So when you are initially developing your application, you will probably go back to this fresh uh, command as well. So because, for example, if you want to add another, another, add another column to this table, let's say uh, slug and uh, that's going to have 10 strings so if you want to rerun this you can do that okay so let's check it out refresh and you will see slug okay so that's about migrations we'll be creating migrations later, more on later on uh, when we are actually building a project uh, but for now I think you have all the noise that you need to write migrations all right, I'll see you on the next one. Do please share, like, and join the Doing Interest Network, please. All right, have a good day then. Take care.